Welcome to How to Solve Poverty. Today's question, what are stakeholders? How can we interact with them to understand poverty? To find out, let's dive into today's lesson. Now you understand the systems and you understand the causes of underlying this problem. I hope you'll do more research to get a full understanding of the problem. What we're going to address next is the obstacles to actually solving this problem. And sometimes an obstacle is not just a part of the system, but it's a person or a group of people that have a certain belief or mindset that either don't want the system changed or do want the system changed. There's people that actually benefit from a problem being in place. They're gaining value and profiting from it in some way, otherwise the system wouldn't continue to go. However, there obviously are a lot of people that are hurt by this system. Specifically, what we're talking about today are stakeholders. In the context of systems thinking, stakeholders are individuals, groups, or entities that have an interest, influence, or investment in a particular system or issue. A stakeholder can directly or indirectly impact or be impacted by the decisions, actions, and outcomes related to the system being considered. So the stakeholders, the people within this system, they could be impacted by the problem, they could be impacted by the solution, they could be invested in bringing the solution to fruition, and they could also be invested in preventing a solution from coming to fruition. And that's why it's so critically important to be looking at who the stakeholders are within the system. If we are to solve a problem, we must identify who is harmed and who benefits from this problem occurring, because our solutions will affect both parties. We want to provide relief to the people who are harmed, while the people who benefit may be an obstacle to us actually solving this problem. There are some other reasons why we should understand and include stakeholders when making decisions about this problem. First, it's going to give us informed decision making. Recognizing and involving stakeholders in decision making leads to more informed choices that consider a broader range of perspectives and potential impacts. You're going to better identify how your solution will be taken. Engaging stakeholders fosters collaboration and shared ownership of decisions, making it more likely that proposed solutions are practical and accepted. It's not a top-down approach. You're not coming in and telling these people what must be done. You're including them in the process so that they actually want to implement some of the solution. They take ownership of it and respect the solution. On the flip side, you'll actually have a better understanding if the solution is going to help them. Additionally, understanding stakeholders' interests and concerns helps anticipate and address potential conflicts early, minimizing disruptions to the system. And lastly, when you consider stakeholder needs and long-term interests, it's going to support the development of sustainable solutions that consider economic, social, and environmental factors. So how do we identify and engage stakeholders? What well, you're gonna to want to do as we have done in this course. Start asking who is harmed and who benefits and what interests do each of those parties have? As you're doing this, you're gonna to wanna to seek input and feedback through surveys, meetings, and interviews with the various stakeholders that you uncover. Get their perspectives, understand their side of the story. Then when you actually start developing strategies or solutions, consider the stakeholder concerns. Make sure that they're an integrated part of your solution. And when you've done that, communicate these decisions and outcomes transparently to those stakeholders. Let them know what the solution is that you propose and what the outcomes will be for them. And this includes all the stakeholders, both the ones that are harmed and the ones that benefit. The people that benefit from your solution are gonna be your advocates. They're gonna be the people that actually put this solution in place. While the people that are harmed by your solution or maybe benefit from the problem existing, are gonna be an obstacle. But if you can communicate your decision and show them the benefits and the outcomes they're going to receive, or the ways that you can mitigate the losses from this problem going away, the more likely that the solution is gonna go through and be actually implemented. Our next portion of the course will look into the obstacles, often driven by stakeholders, that we may face when attempting to solve this global challenge. I urge you now to begin identifying some of the stakeholders who may be a part of this problem or some of the systems underlying it, and see if you can start communicating with them in some way getting feedback through surveys, meeting them, even doing interviews of them to help understand their perspectives. 
Thank you so much for your time and attention. If you want to learn the skills to solve this global challenge, join us for free at Plato.University for exclusive content, extra resources, and actionable exercises with every lesson.